Hello everyone, my name is Hyun Jin Jung. I'm a PhD student at Gyeonggi University in South Korea. I'm going to be talking about coronal magnetic field extrapolation from synchronic data with AI generated solar foresight. Solar magnetic field is a source of high energy phenomena such as solar flares and CMS, which can cause radio blackouts and interrupt communications on Earth. And global magnetic field data of the solar surface are widely used for initial boundary conditions of several space weather prediction models. However, conventional global data show difficult to predict real-time facile magnetic fields because of observational limitation. The conventional data CMT map is constructed by merging together front-side daily updated data over 27-day solar rotation period. Kim et al. proposed an approach to generate solar facade magnetograms from the stereo UV observations using a deep learning model. They trained the model with front-side SDO data pairs and used the peak-to-peak -peak model which is based on conditional adversarial network. The model tries to generate realistic data with the competition between generative network and discriminative network. Here we show an upgrade model to generate solar facade magnetograms. Then we make an improved global photospheric data using the generative ones. And we extrapolate coronal minus field from the improved photospheric data. The research of Kim et al. were limited to generate strong magnetic fields of solar active regions and show low correlations in solar quiet regions. Here we used Pix2Pix HD model, which is an enhanced version of Pix2Pix using a novel rules functions and multi-scale architectures of the networks. And we use three UV passband images for the model input. We trained and evaluated our deep learning model using frontside SDO data pairs. The data pairs had a cadence of 12 hours from 2011 to 2017. We took 3,412 pairs for the training data set and 819 pairs for the evaluation set. Here, a comparison of an AI generated magnetogram by Kim et al., real magnetogram, and our research. Our model will generate strong magnetic fields of an active region and distributions of magnetic polarity look like real one. Correlation coefficient of total on-site magnetic flux, then magnetic flux, and mean pixel to pixel for full disk active regions and quiet regions show that greatly improved the generation of magnetograms for not only active regions but also quiet regions when compared with results of Kim et al. In particular, mean pixel to pixel correlation coefficients of the quiet region had greatly increased. Then we generate more real like facade magnetograms from the corresponding three UV passband images of stereos by the model. Our facade magnetograms make it possible to monitor the continuous evolution of solar magnetic field distribution with real-like strength over the solar surface. Next, we generate the HMI and AI synchronic data using the facade AI generated magnetograms. The AI generated data are converted from full disk image to heliographic coordinate data and from the line of sight to the radial magnetic field 
by applying the radial acute method based on their coordinates. A fast side part of the a HMI semantic data is replaced by the AI generative multigrams within plus minus 60 degree. Here, a comparison of fast side magnetic field maps and an EOB synchrony map. The adaptive map is based on a uh, magnetic surface plus transport model. And our synchrony map will represent the, the appearance and disappearance of active regions. And he used the synchrony map as a bottom boundary condition to extrapolate coronal magnetic fields using the potential field source surface model. Open field lines arriving at the source surface are associated with coronal holes. We predict open field areas from the result of extrapolation and compare those with coronal holes observed observed in EOB emissions. We show the results of extrapolations and we compare them with multi-viewpoint EOB observations. When the heliographic longitude of stereo A was near the west limb of the solar front side, there were appearance of two active regions near the center of solar disk. The conventional results, which computed from HMI semantic data, cannot represent those active regions. On the other hand, our results will represent the active regions and show similar coronal hole distributions to the EUB observation. We track the active regions and observe them from stereo B radar. The spacecraft's longitude was near the east limb of the solar front side. Our results will represent emergence of active regions and the distributions of open field areas consistent with the observation. After the sun rotates and the active regions observed at the front side, of course, the results of calculation were mostly the same because both extrapolations are computed by front side magnetograms. And here, we can confirm that our results show continuous sequence of active regions and coronal holes from the far side to the front side of the sun. Here we show another result in view of heliographic maps. There are two major magnetic flux emergence of the active regions which are connected with open magnetic fluxes. Those active regions and open field areas are more consistent with our research than those of conventional methods. And our research show overall consistent distributions of global magnetic field polarities over one solar rotation. Okay. There are several examples of how our new data and method can be applied. First, the AI generated bus side magnetograms can be used for the long term evolution of sunspots and solar magnetic fluxes. Second, our synchronous map can be better input data for not only the PFS model but also MHD approaches. If our results are used for the input of the MHD approaches, we expect that the results can produce more reasonable solar coronal and heliospheric physical parameters. Third, 
our improved coronal mass field data can be used for initial boundary conditions of several space weather prediction models. Our model will provide more accurate solar wind predictions, especially for the far side of the sun and heliosphere. Fourth, our PFS extrapolation can be help us study the global environment from the sun to the interplanetary space. When the training data for our deep learning model have been prepared for this solar cycle, we hope to compare the results with the Parker Solar Probe and Solar Orbiter observations. Thank you for listening to my presentation.